What up humans, it's week number three. This week is dedicated to crate training. We're gonna try to get her used to it. We're out at Emma's parents again, and so she's gonna play in the yard, and we're gonna slowly introduce her to the crate. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. Vancouver it's week three with Millie and we're starting crate training so we've been saving this extra stinky bully stick it smells very very bad and we have a bunch of sardines these are all the high value treats that she's gonna get when she gets in her crate and she has her comfortable bed we're gonna try to make it as enjoyable as possible in water and when she chews on the bully stick of course she gets thirsty because it's really salty so she actually seems like she's still good in there what we're gonna do is when she starts to get uncomfortable or rustle a little bit that's when we're going to give her a little treat and let her out and then when we do let her out we're gonna give her another treat just so it's all really positive We had a pretty successful first day crate training. Millie was in there with the door shut for about 15 minutes without any whining. And she has been walking in there on her own throughout the day to take little naps and things like that. Uh, a couple last things I wanted to mention. First of all, when you take her out of the crate, uh, immediately take her for a bathroom break. Give her a treat, take her for a bathroom break. Dogs really don't want to soil their den, so they'll want to keep it clean, and that can cause some stress. And so let them know that as soon as they get out of the crate, you're going to take them to the bathroom so they're not worried about it while they're in there. And then lastly, crate training has a negative connotation as well. You really have to take care of your dog. You don't want it to be a negative experience. But sometimes life gets in the way and you can't leave a puppy unattended in your place. And so introducing them to the crate can be really positive. For one, they are denning creatures so they like to have a nice safe den a crate is something you can take with you when you travel we often go away on the weekend we can bring the crate with us it'll be like her home away from home as well as her comfortable place here and lastly we don't want to leave her in the crate for too long alone unattended or anything like that so minimal usage for sure but it's a good life skill to have just in case we need it okay take care thanks for watching mm -hmm. 